going on a trip, Little John, but I'm not going away for good. It's a business trip to Chicago, and I'll be back tomorrow. Do you remember when your dad used to go to Washington for a day or two? Yeah. Well, this is exactly like that. And what made you think that I would go away forever without telling you and without saying goodbye? I heard Faith tell your grandma that you were going away. Ah, so you thought that you'd come see me and find out. Huh? Did you, uh, cross that street alone? Without telling your family you were going to do Two that? Two streets. Oh, well, I think maybe we better call them because they're going to be worried when they find out you're missing. What do you say? Good idea? I guess so. Okay. I'll do that right away, and in the meantime, you go sit on the couch, okay? Okay. It's Jillian. I can tell by your voice that you found out little John's missing, but he's okay. He's here with me. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, here's Francis. Let me put him on. <laughs> little John's with Jillian. Oh, Jill. Hi, he's okay. He found out I was going away, so he decided he better come here and find out what was going on. Well, thanks for calling back so quickly. I'll be right over. Oh, well, you can take your time. We're fine. Oh, uh, well, we're a little worried about him. Faith thinks he might be coming down with something. Oh, all uh, right. Well, I'll take good care of him, and I'll, I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye-bye. You're not feeling so good, huh? No. You sleepy? Yes. Well, you feel a little hot. How about if you take a little nap while you're waiting for your dad? Okay. Mm. Jono, I want to tell you how much I love you. You are more special to me than any other little boy I've ever known. Excepting Edmund, and he was my own son. I bet you don't remember too much about him, huh? No. Well, it was a long time ago. But I love you just as if you were my own. And I'll always be here, and you always can count on me to be your friend. And even though we may not see each other so much in the next couple of months, I'll always be here. And I would never leave you without saying goodbye, and I would never go away altogether. You don't do that to people that you love. Then why did you do it to Daddy? In today's episode, the part of Frank Ryan will be played by Don Scardino. Fifteen seconds with Maurice Bernard. How am I different than my character? I'm a little goofier. Oh, I can be a little goofier. Then he can be very serious. I'm trying to lighten him up. If I get mad, then I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Catch Maurice Bernard on General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Save the date. I cannot wait to be your wife all over again. It's all about celebration. God, you're beautiful. I love you. Revelation. I knew what happened to Erica. And a serious situation. Look at those two. <laughs> Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Unwanted facial hair is a problem for all women, but waxing is painful and tweezing hurts. Well, now you can roll away the hair instantly and pain-free with Bare Magic. Just apply, let dry, and roll away the unwanted hair like magic. Watch again. No mess, no pain, just soft, smooth, bare skin. It came off so easily, and it just felt really great. This was painless. This was easy, painless. It, it's not sticking all over me. It's wonderful. There's no hair left at all. All my, all my peach fuzz is completely gone. No pain, no odor, no mess, just like magic. I really can't compare it to anything. It's nothing like waxing or shaving. It's just soft. Wow. 
The secret is Bear Magic's unique formula, which dissolves the hair so you can roll it away instantly and pain free. Watch this thick sideburns gone like that. Just apply, let dry, and roll away the unwanted hair like magic. Arm hair, watch it disappear. And for a perfect bikini line, it's the best. It's just so time consuming to pluck and wax. This just works so quickly. The hair just rolls away. That's it, I'll never wax again. And Bare Magic even works on guys too, especially for that unwanted back and shoulder hair. So forget painful waxing and tweezing. Call now and get a full 30-day supply of Bare Magic. That's three treatments for only $14.99. But wait, call right now and we'll double the offer and give you a second Bare Magic kit free. Just pay shipping and handling. That's right, you get six treatments, a 60-day supply for only $14.99. But you have to call now. Call 1-800-604-8578 and roll away the unwanted hair once and for all. We'll even double your Bare Magic order but you have to call now, 1-800-604-8578. Well, oh. oh, look who finally decided to get up. <laughs> I'd still be in bed if I had my way. What on earth is wrong with Delia? Oh, she just had too much to drink with West Leonard last night. That's all that's the matter with her. Don't be hard, Norma. I've crawled away from too much with Wes in my day. Ah, uh, we didn't like him very much back in your day either. Besides, Wes Delia is doing her devoted mother act this morning. Little John wandered off this morning after Faith had said that he was not to go to school, he was to go back to bed. It was all right, he was found safe and sound with Gillian, but I'm afraid Delia will carry on until she sees him. What's the story with uh, Little John and Jill? Well, the child thought that she was going away. Now she is, she's going away for a day or two. But he thought that she was going permanently and that he had, she hadn't told him. Mm -hmm. So he went over to see her to clarify it for himself. Mm -hmm. I, I got to talk to Frank about laying down certain ground rules for little John crossing the street. Just because he didn't get punished that time he went over to the hospital to see Ken, he thinks he can get away with it now. No, John, that's not it at all. The boy is bright. He's perfectly capable of crossing the street by himself. He's the first one to realize that it's the only trouble. I think we just have to amend the rules, that's all. I suppose you're right, lady. While you two are in such a generous and lenient mood, why don't you extend a little of it to me? I'd like permission to do a few things without somebody holding my hand, too. Oh, sweetheart, the two things have nothing whatsoever to do with each other. Oh, that's right. Little John is bright and I'm not. No, that's not what I oh, said. Oh, hold I said on, you two, just for a second. I have never seen two people that in two sentences could get into a fight like the likes of you. All I was trying to say was that a person can cross the street safely if they take precautions. You're going off with Joe Novak just because you happen to be peeved with me is not my idea of being careful. I'm not even sure there are any precautions you can take in a situation like that. Admit it, Daddy. You will never be satisfied where Joe is concerned. Probably not. Look, I would like to believe him, sweetheart, for your sake. But when it's a matter of trust, I can't, not with Joe. So here I am, keeping my distance, waiting for him to prove himself, and maybe I just can't do it anymore. <sighs> and I can't take all this arguing with you. I'm not a child. I'm not even a grown woman going out with Wes because he's fun, because it annoys you and Jack. I'm Joe's wife. It's just a title right now, but I hope to make it real again someday. Yeah, I know you Some do, but... day, not now. Right now, all I want to do is spend some time with him. Well, how can you be sure it's even safe to spend time with the man? How the hell can I be sure of who he is if I never see him? So I'm going to see him. In fact, we have a date to go to Lem's tonight. Oh, again, huh? Again, and we're not going to fight about it anymore. <sighs> if you can keep from lecturing me and baiting Joe and Ma can stop worrying herself sick every time I go out with him, then I can live at home. But if not, I cannot go on being torn between my family and my husband. What are we supposed to do? Do what you're planning to do for little John. Give me credit for having intelligence. Be more flexible. Well, I suppose... I don't know. It's a choice between that and you're leaving home. There's nothing else we can do. Good.
I get for you, hon? Uh, coffee. Black. Something wrong? Lori? Rose! Yes. Rose Spears! How are you? Fine, how are you? Oh, my gosh! I can't get over seeing you! No. What the? Let me see if I can get a couple cups of coffee. It's not too busy right now. Maybe we can talk. Take my break right now so we can catch up. So tell so, me, what have you been up to? You're looking at it. What I really want to do is get into fashion, but it's tough. Yeah, I remember, that's what you always wanted to do. Yeah. Hey, do you still design and make your own clothes? Well, when I have time. Oh, I've been working here, you know, taking some courses down at the fashion school and trying to support myself. But uh, between school and working here, it's been uh, kind of hard to get too much time to sew. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But I guess it'll all work out in the long run. Hey, you seeing anybody? Would you believe I'm still seeing Sal? Yeah, I believe it. I mean, he was terrific. I guess he still is, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> He's even sweeter now than when we were first going together. Now that I find hard to believe. <laughs> I mean, there was no one as cuddly as you two. Oh, do you remember when the four of us used to go under the bridge, yeah. Do you still think about it much? Well, more now than when it happened. Not so much about Bud, but Amelia. I can't help wondering what her life is like. Well, of course you wonder. That's natural. But don't allow yourself to worry about her. I'm sure she's happy with people who love her a lot. I really admire you, Rose. I want you to know that. Admire me? For what? For everything. For keeping Amelia and trying to raise her yourself. For realizing that you couldn't and having the guts to give her up. For coming through it all okay. I'm okay? Definitely. <laughs> so, you really think Sal's terrific, huh? Yeah, I do. Well, scary maybe, but... Oh, he's it. not so scary. No, not when you compare him to the other guys. Hey, is he still working with that same crowd? Mm, no, no. I guess you heard Tisa Novotny died. But, you know, the same line of work. How about you? Are you still working with your father? Hi. Hi. He's uh, sleepy, curled up on the couch and drifted off when I was talking to you on the phone. Uh, and I think he is running a slight fever. Hey, pal. Ready to go home? Stay a little longer. Oh. Uh, let him rest for a few more minutes. I need to talk to you. Sure. I think he's having a real hard time letting go of the idea of us together. I know. I don't blame him. It's been hard enough for us to let go of it. He was practically the last one to know, so I think it's going to take him a little longer to accept it. I want to do what's right for him. But I don't want to lead him on. I don't want to give him false hopes about something that can't happen. But he's my friend. And I don't want to abandon him either. And you're his father, and I want you to tell me what I should do. Jill, I know you're trying to reconcile your concern for Jono with what's comfortable for you. But I'm not so sure that there's any middle ground. And what do you suggest? <sighs> Nothing really positive. Uh, I just want to know how your staying away is going to help him all that much. I'm going to try to explain once more why I'm staying away. 
There is nothing that I want more than you and Faith and little John, for him to accept Faith, to accept this marriage. Because I don't think that any of you can be comfortable until he does. But if he keeps seeing us together frequently, he's going to associate us together. He's going to resent Faith. He needs time with her to get to know her, to see her in a different light. Now, that's the reason I'm staying clear of Ryan's. Maybe, maybe not forever, but just until he makes that adjustment. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you understand. So maybe you can explain it to my sister, because we don't seem to be able to have a rational discussion about it. I can try. I appreciate that. I feel, I feel sorry for him. I don't mean that to be critical of you, no, I just... No, no, I know. I feel sorry for him, too. He's dependent on so many things that haven't happened. Everything keeps changing around on him so much. You know, maybe the problem now isn't so much that he wants to see you and I together, but that he's afraid of getting attached to faith. I don't know. I'll tell you one thing, through it all, he's been a very patient little guy. That's why I want everything to work out so smoothly this time. I hope it does. Yeah. Okay, come on, partner. <laughs> what do you say? You and I ride into the sunset, huh? Come on. No. Oh, Are you mad at me? No, no, pal, I'm not mad at you. But I am not happy about you crossing the street by yourself again, right? Uh, we'll talk about it another time when you're feeling a little better, okay? Here we go. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to go. Okay. Wait! I gotta kiss Jill. Uh, well, why don't you <laughs> give her... Why don't you let her kiss you on the forehead? Because you're sick and she might catch what you got. Okay. <laughs> you get better, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Come on. Soap Nation, June 11th and 12th in Nashville, Tennessee for the CMA Music Festival, co-hosted by Brennan Barash. Yeah! With games, giveaways, and special musical performances by the Divas of Daytime and General Hospital's own Fort Chuck. Oh, yeah. For all the CMA Music Festival details, go to SoapNet.com. Be a part of Soap Nation on SoapNet. Go to SoapNet.com to sign up for the weekly SoapNet newsletter, the source for all the latest soap news. Enjoy a weekly email with links to photo galleries of your favorite stars, cast comings and goings, storyline sneak peeks, fun quizzes, and the scoop on special events. Sign up now at SoapNet.com. Brighter skin, Brighter skin, younger skin, younger skin younger I want both. Introducing a new Clinical Luminosity Pro. A brilliant breakthrough from Avon. It's got injectable grade brightener. The look of dark spots, illuminated. Dullness, brightened. And when skin looks brighter, it looks younger. A new Clinical Luminosity Pro does it. And only Avon has it with a love it or return it guarantee. Want it? Get it. Get it. Call 1-800-4-AVON or visit avon.com to find a representative. You know, I'm really glad we finally decided to see where Raisin Bran Crunch is made. Yeah, this trip is way overdue. I just can't wait to see all those crunchy flakes in action. I hope I get a chance to put two scoops of raisins in some boxes. You know what'll really get us in the spirit? 99 boxes of Raisin Bran Crunch. If you're nice to me, I'll share some with you. You take one down. We'll pass it around. 98 boxes of Raisin Bran Crunch. Three tasty ingredients, one great combination. Raisin Bran Crunch. From Kellogg. This week, a plan for revenge. You got me the loft across the hall from Dante. And... Now you're gonna tell me what you did to Michael. A painful confession. You need to tell me. Watch General Hospital, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. 
That Donna Martin has such great style. The baby doll, the mall rat, the mermaid. Wow. Beverly Hills 90210, back to back, weekday starting at 4 on SoapNet. As a matter of fact, uh, my father's been in Pittsburgh for some time now. We sold the works to a uh, Mr. D.G. Antonio, who uh, kept the name Pierce and Pierce because uh, we sold the name too. Hmm. No kidding. So what are, what are you doing now? Well, as a matter of fact, my plans aren't very different from yours. I've been interested in furs lately. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> well, maybe we can support each other. Your furs over my dresses. Sure, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your husband think of all this? I beg your pardon? Well, the last time I heard you had gotten married. You were sailing all over the place and... Well, if you don't want to talk about it... Well, it didn't work out. No, it's not that. It took me a second to realize you were talking about Jim. He died a year after we were married. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, trust me to put my foot in my mouth. Hey, it's okay. Oh, I'm really sorry about him, too. No, no, it was great while it lasted. We went sailing around the world, and then I was in business with my father. I just thought it was time I did something a little more conventional with my life. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm a lot less wild than I used to be. Sal and I have been together for so long, we're like an old married couple. But we're thinking about making it official soon. What about you? You think you'll get married again? Maybe. Anyone, to, anyone in mind? His name's Giovanni. Mm, tell. He's beautiful. And he understands about Amelia. He's very special. I don't know exactly what it is, but... But we're really good together. Oh, I'm glad. Well, what kind of work does he do? Oh, he does all sorts of things at real, really odd hours of the night. You know, it's really hard to get a nine-to-five job. We're lucky both our men have work. Yeah, but, uh, I don't think Sal's as happy as he used to be. Well, he doesn't talk about business at home, but I can feel that everything's changed. Changed how? Well, there was more of a family feeling with Tiso. There was more fun. Hmm. So, uh, tell me what Tiso was like. Oh, he was a really sweet man. He was real nice to the girls. There was no funny stuff for him or from any of his boys he saw to that. He would cook for us in his restaurant and tell us these really awful jokes. They were so bad, but I knew that he, he had to know that they were bad, but he did it just to be nice. He always went out of his way to make us feel comfortable. But I don't know, the idea of such an important man telling little jokes always made me nervous. He was too high up in the organization ever to feel really comfortable around him. Mm. What ever happened to his nephew? You know, the one who was supposed to have killed him. Joe. Yeah. Well, everyone figured that he had been killed, but nobody ever found a body, so... Just recently, I've heard that, that he's back around, that he's been hiding out all this time. He's out of the business. That's supposedly why he killed his uncle, to get out of the business. But, um, I don't know. All I know is that he was really, really good-looking. Every time he looked my way, I got quivery in the knees. Thank goodness Joe was, or Sal was around. <laughs> so if he's out of the family business, I wonder what he's doing now. Who knows? I haven't the faintest idea. Maybe Sal knows. <clears throat> Lori. Mm. I gotta get back to work. Yeah, sure. Listen. Okay. Here, keep the change. Oh. For your fashion oh, classes. thank you. <laughs> Listen, now that we're in contact, we're going to stay that way, okay? You bet. All right. Okay, take care. You too. See, See you. you. Soon. Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. Save the date. I cannot wait to be your wife all over again. Jake and Amanda finally get their happy ending. God, you're beautiful. I loved you. There'll be something old. When my mother got in between us, you slept with her. You really do remind me of your father. Something new. I knew what happened to Erica. Something borrowed. Go back to your perfect little wife. And something totally out of the blue. Hey, look at those two. <gasps> Watch All My Children. Can I help you? I'm Sandy, and I heard you've been struggling with the quilt. 
I'm here to take you through my one-step program to break the quilted habit. But I've always used quilted towels. Quilted is towel speak for air. But Viva puts 35% more towel between you and the mess. Wow, 35% more? Are you ready to take that one step to see what an unquilted Viva towel can do? Yes, I'm ready. Beautiful. <laughs> Try Viva and quit the quilt. Did you know that four out of five dogs over the age of three have gum disease and that tartar buildup can be a contributing factor? Now there's a solution, doggy dentures. If your dog is suffering from unsightly tartar buildup, try doggy dentures. You're kidding, right? Just give me Dentistix, the treat with the unique X shape that's clinically proven to reduce up to 80% of tartar buildup. Dentistix, from Pedigree. What's worse, mosquitoes or mosquito spray? Huh. Try Off Clip On Personal Mosquito Repellent. Go online now to offclipponsavings.com. Download a coupon, and when you buy one starter kit, get a second one free. Lab tests show this sprayless repellent really repels. Each refill provides 12 hours of odorless protection. In minutes, its fan surrounds you with proven off protection wherever you're sitting. Off Clip On. Clip it on a table, a chair, anywhere. Simply go to offclipponsavings.com now and print a buy one, get one free coupon. So don't spray it on, clip it on. Go to offclipponsavings.com today and download a buy one, get one free coupon. Off Clip On keeps bugs off. SC Johnson and Family Company. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. Make a date. Have you done that? Wow. To rent one of the funniest comedies of the year. Let's kick it. But it's not in your mailbox yet. I got big news. Big news. It's not in that vending machine yet. Valentine's Day is about anger. That is so cute. Don't worry. It's in the palm of your hand. Valentine's Day. Movies playing on channels 125 through 199. I forgot to tell you, guess who's been added to the guest list for the wedding? Oh, who? Oh. <laughs> Annie. Faith called her this morning. I spoke with her around myself on the phone. And Faith is also buying plane tickets for any member of the family that can get away. Fantastic, Faith. That's, That's terrific. Aww. <laughs> well, I got the idea the other day when Maeve was telling me about your wedding again. And I want this to be as special for the two of you as it will be for Frank and me. Oh, it will be. We'll have grand old times yeah. discussing <laughs> new news and old stories. It's the best gift you could have given me. And it's your wedding. Oh, just seeing you excited, that's the best present I could have. Young lady, you are one of the most sensible, dependable, and thoughtful people I ever met in my life. Oh. Ah. Maybe I could be a Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> are there any members of your family you'd like to have? No, thanks very much, sweetheart. But uh, the only Ryans that I have in family here is in Chicago. And although I like Barry Ryan very much, she's the only one of the clan that I can stand. <laughs> Yes, I understand. <laughs> Believe it. Is. Oh, hey, oh. there's my boy. Oh, you had us worried. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you feeling all right, sweetheart? Not so good. Oh, mm. well, then we better get you upstairs. Yeah, let's sell him into bed. Come on. There you go. I tell you, that boy's amazing. Yes. He had to find out what was happening for himself, even though he went over to Joe's when he was sick. John, I don't think that cuts the heart of the matter. Well, what do you mean? Well, the wedding has gotten to be such an event, I myself even forget the trouble that I had accepting the idea of it. And Francis is not clear in his heart about it, let me say, even if he won't admit it. Well, children are aware of all that. We don't give them enough credit. I think little John is picking up on those feelings and the hesitations we all have about it. Okay. I wish just to hear above normal. Oh. You're gonna be fine in no time. Will I be well by the time Jill gets back? I'm sure you will. Jill is nice. I love her. Family always comes first in Pine Valley. But how far will the residents go to protect their loved ones? Catch up on all the drama with a new episode of All My Children. Tonight at 8, only on SoapNet.
Oh, excuse me. Can I have a check, please? Thanks. Jill, mind if I join you for a minute? I'm waiting for Siobhan. Oh, no, of course not. It's good to see you. Thanks. You alone? Yep. Couldn't bear the idea of cooking for one tonight. Oh, yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> I'm eating early because I have a plane to catch. Well, if you're in a hurry, then I can... No, 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 no. I'm just waiting for my check. I'm all packed. I just have to pick up my bags. I'm not holding you up? No. Well, I do have a reason for intruding. I'm uh, looking for an established business. And I have enough money to make a decent down payment. I need something legitimate and affordable and available. <laughs> well, I don't see how I can help you. Well, I was wondering if any of your clients might have something to offer. What kind of business are we talking about? Well, you know me well enough to guess what might interest me. The main thing is, I'm in a hurry. Why? Why, good question. I have to prove to Siobhan and the family that I'm out of my uncle's world and I'm staying out. I think a legitimate business will do that. Well, <laughs> I really can't think of anything at the moment, but uh, I'll keep my ears open. Well, I'd appreciate it. I've got a couple of irons in the fire, but of course there's no guarantee that either one of them will pan out. Why do I get the distinct impression that if you hear of anything, you won't tell me? I'll tell you. Uh, I'm just not so sure that I would recommend any of my clients to sell to you. Okay. That means I'll have to put you on my list. <laughs> well, what list is that? The list of people I have to convince. Ah, thank you. Hi. Hi, Jill. <laughs> Hi there. I'm just leaving. Oh, don't. You don't have to. No, I do have to, unless I'm going to miss my plane. Oh. <laughs> Good night, Jill. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to walk that's, that's Finn okay. and... That's okay. It's okay. What are you smiling about? Mm, I'm just uh, generally delighted to see you, that's what. And I have a little present for you. Michael, you shouldn't be here. I'm glad to see you, too. Don't be that way. You know I want to see you, but Seneca's going to be here any minute. You look awful. Yeah, well, that's how I feel. Kim, you got to help me. June 11th and 12th in Nashville, Tennessee for the CMA Music Festival, co-hosted by Brennan Barash. Oh, yeah! With games, giveaways, and special musical performances by the Divas of Daytime and General Hospital's own Fort Chuck. Oh, yeah! For all the CMA Music Festival details, go to SoapNet.com. Be a part of Soap Nation on SoapNet. Want to know how you can see more 90210? Well, now my curiosity is peaked. Beverly Hills 90210 Back to Back is back. It's good to be back. Weekdays starting at 4, catch two episodes of 90210. Oh, let's do it! Giving you twice the time to check out who's making up. I'm really sorry. Who's making out. Give me some love in my And who's making a scene. Be careful, sweetheart. Don't break a nail. <gasps> Dive in for a double dose of Back to Back Beverly Hills 90210. Weekdays starting at 4 on SoapNet. This guy's into camping. What about that guy? Oh, yeah. I can definitely go for some serious romance. Oh! Oh! Okay. Mm. You're so beautiful. Oh, my back! Oh! Oh! Maybe just 
just a movie date would mm. be nice. Yeah. Zeusk, the online dating site that lets you date your way, whether you want to browse, flirt, or find your soulmate. <laughs> Zeusk.com. My name is Quinn, and this is my Eggo. On Fridays, I have hockey before school, so I take two Eggo home-style waffles and put peanut butter inside. I add a couple of chocolate chips when Dad starts in the car. There's only one way to eat an Eggo, your way. Lego my Eggo. My name is Louise, and this is my Eggo. On Tuesday, I go in even earlier than usual. Thank goodness for Eggo. A Nutri-Brain waffle with a quick smudge of cream cheese. At least that part's easy. There's only one way to eat an Eggo, your way. Lego my Eggo. You need the perfect card. Something special? How thoughtful. Moonpig. Moonpig.com is a whole new way to send cards. Real cards they'll love. Choose from thousands of great designs. Funny cards, photo upload cards, spoof magazine covers. Moonpig.com has cards for every imaginable occasion. Customize your card by changing the name, text, and greeting. With unlimited options, you'll never send the same card twice. Order by 2 p.m. and your card can be mailed the same day. Moonpig. Starting at just $3.99. Join the Moonpig.com prepay club today and get 20% off everything you buy. Why send a boring Father's Day or graduation card when you can amaze them with a card from Moonpig.com? Don't forget your dad or grad. Log on to Moonpig.com now. can't stay here very long. I know that. I can't believe you came here. I had to see you. You've got to help me. Michael, I feel horrible for you, but I tried. I gave you my best. Honest. What did she say? She wouldn't listen to me. Then talk to her again. I would. But? But I'm scared. Of what? I'm terrified that the second that she hears my your name come out of my mouth, she's going to tell Seneca everything, just to punish me. She wouldn't do that, Kim. She would, in a second. My mother's big thing is revenge. You know that. You're her daughter. Yeah, and that should make a difference. But it doesn't. I don't know what it is about the two of us that drives her so crazy. You're just her employee. Ex-employee. Michael, I can't talk to her for you again. She's angry. She thinks I've been childish and stupid and irresponsible. I can't take the chance. Michael, sometimes I think that the only tie with reality I have is my marriage. Just the thought scares me of having Seneca find out. My whole world would go up in smoke. Yeah, well, that's what's happened to mine. It's all gone, all my options, my future, my whole life. I'm sorry, but there's nothing more that I can do for you. Barry says I can't go on with this kind of turmoil in my personal life. What has Barry got to do with any of this? Barry's my manager. I confide in him. And he says that I should concentrate on maintaining a more tranquil domestic situation. And he's right. Michael, I do love you. And I'm sorry if this seems selfish, but I've got to get out of it somehow. And what am I supposed to do? Give my mother a little time. Oh, sure. Seriously, if some time has passed and she sees that we're not seeing one another anymore, she'll forgive you and give you your job back. I doubt it, and so do you. Well, then I'll start thinking about some other job possibilities for you. We'll get you something just as, just as nice, even Kim, better. what am I going to get kind of a job with no references? I have a little money I could give you. I can write you a check right now. I don't want your money. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought that if money were the problem, maybe I could help. No, no, I appreciate it, but I have enough saved up. It'll tide me over for now. Cash is not the problem. Then what is the problem? My life. I wish I could put a Band-Aid on it or fix it or something. Yeah, well, you can't. Oh, I'm at a loss. What time is it? Never mind. I've got to talk to somebody, figure out what I can do next. Michael, I really wish I could help you, but... It's Seneca. I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. Oh, I understand. Don't say it like that. Yeah, we'll talk later, right? Of course. Right. Thank you. labor trouble to speak. I mean, how can you strike your own bar? Well, you're lucky it's a family operation, except, well, even Kevin's practically family. If 
I had more brothers, they could be waiters. Jack, am I glad to see you. Oh? Well, don't look like that. I mean, because of your old union connections, we need your advice. Go have a seat, Jack. Would you like a drink, Jack? What are you talking about, Dee? We're in trouble at the Crystal Palace. It's the most awful thing. It's even worse than the vandalism. Better back up. What about my old union connections? You explain it, Bobby. You did it. Do you want something to drink? Yeah, coffee. I'll get it. Do that, Daniel. So, uh, Jack, looks like we're in pretty big trouble. One of our waiters, Orson, a real honcho with the union, he came by to check our reopening schedule, and while he was doing that, he managed to steal a case of our liquor. And Bobby just happened to be outside and seat in the back seat of his car. Mm -hmm. Orson's car is so stupid. What, what, what stupid? Well, he should have at least had the sense to stash it in his trunk. Yeah, well, some people have better criminal minds than others. So I talked to him, and... Well, he ended up giving me a pretty hard time. And you fired him. You got it. And you filed a grievance. Yeah, and the bottom line is we're ready to open next week. All the damage is repaired, and we're going to have a strike on our hands. With picket lines and everything. What should we do? Well, what does the guy want? Well, he wants a settlement. A lot of money. An awful lot. Right, and if we don't want to go further into debt, we may have to pay him what he asks. Which isn't fair. I mean, to pay somebody for the privilege of stealing from no, you? It's not fair, but probably, by and large, you better do everything you can to avoid a strike. That's it? That's your advice? Well, can you prove that he, uh, that he stole the liquor? No, no. No, it was in a Crystal Palace box, but he said he borrowed the box to take the bottles up to his apartment. And his buddy at the liquor store will uh, swear that he bought the booze. Right. Well, I'm sorry to have to say this, but, uh, settle with him. Ah! Hello there, Michael. Hi, Ms. Ryan. How are you doing today? Oh, I've been better. Oh? <laughs> Come talk to Michael. I've got something to do down here. Uh, Michael, I'm afraid it sounds a little bit down in the mouth. You okay? No. Want a drink? Yeah. Uh, scotch. Make it a double, straight up. Whoa, what is the matter? <sighs> Big trouble. Yeah, me too. What's yours? I got fired. Oh. Hey, want your old job back? No, I mean it. It's yours for the asking. You were the best bartender we ever had. I'm not a bartender anymore, Dee. What's wrong with being a bartender? Johnny's the bartender, and Kevin, and even I've been one. And yeah, but you wouldn't go back to doing it now, though, would you? Well, I uh, wouldn't want to full-time, but... No, not unless you own the place. Well, that's where I am, too. Well, what happened with Ray? Oh, come on, I can't believe someone is... Attractive and persuasive as you can talk your way out of whatever it is or was. I tried. Well, can you try again? Ah, Rose. greetings, one and all. Hi, Rose. Uh, you want a cup of coffee? Yes, thanks. Excuse us. Mm -hmm. Surely. Thank you. Uh oh. What? You're angry as what? <clears throat> all right, uh. Let's, let's sit over here. Wait. Let me guess. Does it start with a shh and end with an Yvonne? <clears throat> well, she is so damn stubborn. Newsflash. Look, she's dead set on being with Joe. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Apparently. Uh-huh. Did you see your friend? Let me put it this way, Finelli. What I am about to say will not make you feel a hell of a lot better. But here goes. I saw Lori. And? And buffaloed her into believing that my curiosity was strictly friendly. Is she, uh, she's still seeing that guy? Sal. Yeah. And he's still doing the same work. Although, according to Lori, uh, he's very tight-lipped about it lately. Yes, so what does she know about Joe? Don't rush me. Yeah. Sal did some work for Tiso. Now, Lori knew both Tiso and Joe. And? And she thought Tiso was corny, but essentially a tootsie. Yeah. In fact, after his death, she felt that the, uh, the business changed. It wasn't as much fun anymore. Fun? I told you I ran around with a tough crowd. So what does she know about Joe? That he's back in town, 
and that he's out of the business. Nothing else. Oh, yeah, that she uh, has a crush on him. I can understand that. I can. Terrific. You don't mean that. I can tell. Doesn't amount to much, does it? Well, there will be more. Lori said that, that she talked to Sal to find out what Joe's up to, okay? And I'll see her again soon. I promise. Hey, what is with you? Um, I'm sorry. It's uh, Joe, I guess. I have a plan. <laughs> Save the date. I cannot wait to be your wife all over again. Jake and Amanda finally get their happy ending. God, you're beautiful. I love you. There'll be something old. When my mother got in between us, you slept with her. You really do remind me of your father. Something new. I knew what happened to Erica. Something borrowed. Go back to your perfect little wife. And something totally out of the blue. Hey, look at those two. <gasps> Watch All My Children. I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Were you or a loved one diagnosed with lung cancer? If so, we urge you to call the number on your screen now for a free legal consultation. Some lung cancers, along with the other cancers listed on your screen, may be linked to asbestos exposure. Exposure to asbestos in mills, factories, or while working as a plumber, electrician, plasterer, maintenance worker, or janitor may have put you at risk. In addition, because asbestos was widely used on ships, those working in shipyards, including Navy veterans, may have also been exposed. Asbestos has been used in many commercial applications, including insulation, fireproof fabrics, automotive parts, building materials, and small kitchen appliances. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with lung cancer or another asbestos-related cancer, call now for a free legal consultation. You may be entitled to compensation. Call 1-800-849-6478. Again, that's 1-800-849-6478. Two women, only one Nicholas. Sharon, his past love, who can't seem to remain in the past. What do you say we go forward, not back? Phyllis, his wife, who refuses to go down without a fight. No more, Sharon. It's done for you. Who will win his heart? The Young and the Restless, tonight at 7 on SoapNet. Now you'll never miss a moment of All My Children, One Life to Live, and General Hospital. All right. They're all now available free on the full episode player at abc.com. Does Ryan have a sitter? Uh, of course. Can she be trusted? Implicitly. Does she have a curfew? Uh, none that I know of. She's a high school student writing a term paper. Good. So with Ryan tucked away and cared for, I see no reason why you shouldn't love my plan. So? So, phase one of the Rose Pierce Molina cheer-up strategy. You come home with me to my still empty apartment, in which I just so happen to have a huge, gorgeous sirloin steak in the fridge. Uh-huh. I also just so happen to have several bottles of red wine. Several? Mm, and a fireplace. Ready to burn? Naturally. I think I like your plan a lot. Ah, wait, there's more. Also in my apartment, I happen to have a cozy bed. No. Yes. And several hours, during which I intend to do nothing but entertain you. I accept your offer. Hmm. I think you're under the misapprehension that this offer comes with no strings attached. It doesn't. It doesn't. No. There is one condition that I must insist upon. Which is? That we call a moratorium on your sister-in-law and Joe Novak. Under no circumstances, during the remainder of the evening, do we discuss either one of them. At all. You got a deal. <laughs> oh. Oh, go get it. Go get it. Oh. Oh. It's swell. You like it? Yeah, I love it. It's wonderful. <laughs> what are you staring at me for? I can't help it. Listen, could I interest you in something irrational? Well, that's exactly what you can interest me in. All right. <laughs> we go down the battery. Uh-huh. Right? 
We catch a Staten Island ferry mm -hmm. and we ride it back and forth all night long. And then we uh, watch the sun come up over the city. That's irrational. Does the ferry even run all night? Well, it should, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, but does it? Well, how could they let all those people on Staten Island be stranded there overnight, huh? What if it doesn't, even though you and I both agree it should? Well, then we'll just find some uh, all-night diner, and we'll wait there for the first ferry to catch us up. So? And we can eat and drink, and we'll write a nasty letter to the Staten Island Ferry Commission. <laughs> it's wonderful. Let's do it. Next, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley on All My Children, only on SoapNet. It's time to get married. I promised Nora a perfect wedding. I won't go check my tooth. But with everything working against them. No! You just got skunked. Can Bo pull it off? It's going to be all right. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. I'm going to make Dante and Lulu pay. This week, a plan for revenge. You got me the loft across the hall from Dante. And... Now you're going to tell me what you did to Michael. A painful confession. You need to tell me. Watch General Hospital, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Will one queen's rivalry unite a kingdom? I trusted you, you betrayed me. Or destroy it. First night, this Sunday at 8, and again at 10.30 on SoapNet. Running in the hallway? Snickers ice cream. What? Real ice cream, crunchy peanuts, and chewy caramel, all covered in luscious chocolate. That's good ice cream. Snickers ice cream. Brilliant color that defies damage. Thank you, Herbashine. It's new from Garnier. Herbashine, the only hair color with bamboo extract. Bamboo, like naturally strong. This amazing color actually fortifies my hair. And the color, in a word, radiant. radiant. And talk about shine. No ammonia, no worries. And not a gray in sight. 10 minutes for color like this? I spend more time getting into skinny jeans. New Garnier Herbashine hair color. Fortified color, certified brilliant. Garnier, take care. Introducing new Stouffer's Toasted Subs. Four varieties like Meatball Italiano made with delicious meats and melted cheeses on bakery fresh tasting bread that crisps in the microwave in minutes. The taste of your favorite sub shop without leaving home. New Stouffer's Toasted Subs. You are the one that I this Father's Day, show Dad you care. Visit Overstock.com for name brand products at up to 70% off every day. You'll find gifts for every dad. Let Overstock.com show you what you're looking for, and your entire order ships for just $2.95. Overstock.com, at home with the O. Relax. Recharge. And restore. Introducing the refreshing fragrance of cool serenity with hints of soothing water fresh peony flowers, and rich sandalwood. Find it in the new Relaxing Moments collection from Glade. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Now playing on DirecTV Cinema. Super spy Bob Ho has got the moves. He's got the skills. But can he handle these kids? I am international spy unknown to the CIA. Ugh. The spy game oh. has a new secret weapon. Fly. The spy next door. Can you mommy do that? The movie's playing on channels 125 through 199. What are you doing away at this hour? I couldn't sleep. Well, you're cool as a cucumber. I don't think you have any temperature anymore. Are you feeling badly? Not so much. Oh, you just can't sleep, is that it? Yeah. Why, what's wrong, love? 
Things keep buzzing around in my brain. What sort of things? Just things. Oh. Well, you know what it sounds like to me? What? It sounds like you need to talk with your old gram. I've got to feed a hungry customer out there, but you sit tight. I'll be back. And when I get here, we'll make some hot chocolate and we'll have a talk. All right? Okay. Okay. You just sit right where you are. Oh, you know what? what? Your father will be here in 10 minutes. Maybe he can help to sort things out a bit for you. All right? Maybe. Briefcase, keys, ticket. Ringing phone. Mm. Hello. Hello. This is Sam Reed Wireless. Joe? Yeah, it is. How you doing? Not so good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Can you, can, can you come over and visit me in 10 minutes? Uh, oh, I'm afraid not, honey. I'm just on my way out the door to the airport to go to Chicago. Please? I'll be back tomorrow, and I will make certain to see you first thing. Is that all right? No, I need you to come up and visit me now. Uh, Jono, I really can't miss my plane. Chicago is too far a place to walk. I'll see you tomorrow, OK? Uh, no buts about it. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. What's up? Feeling any better? I'm very discouraged. Discouraged? About what? Things. Oh. Things aren't working out the way I want them to work out. Well, what kind of things? Private things. Well, whatever it is, you just remember to not stop trying, OK? Remember what Mommy always says? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's right. You got it? Got it. That's Mommy's good little boy. Family always comes first in Pine Valley, but how far will the residents go to protect their loved ones? Catch up on all the drama with a new episode of All My Children, tonight at 8, only on SoapNet.